Hey, welcome to the stove. Uh, today I'm going to be making grilled cheese sandwiches. You've been making them wrong your whole life. So stay tuned after the intro. We'll see how to really do them. get my gooey butter cake out of the oven make some gooey butter cake uh, I've been um, giving these away for free it's just the uh, shipping and handling costs a lot of money so uh, uh, it counterbalances uh, life uh, I just finished the pickled eggs as well so I do ship those uh, as well as uh, uh, green tomatoes sweet and heat pickles not the honey. I just had to do this for the house. This honey's for the house. But here's the pickled eggs. If you haven't saw these already. Uh, but just email me at brandonclark1976 at gmail.com or go to my website and hit the comment section and uh, fill out that form. It will go straight to my email to see how to get all this stuff for free. If you just pay for shipping and handling. Handling is expensive. I'm just saying that right now. But these items are totally free. Uh... Let me see. Okay, let me let me go to the island and show you everything you're gonna need for this. Hey, folks, welcome to the island. Um, of course, you're gonna need the bread and the cheese. Um, I'm a fan of Velveeta, but to make a real grilled cheese sandwich, you're gonna need a block of cheese. Uh, you're gonna need a knife to cut it. Need some butter to toast the bread. And for real grilled cheese, you need grill marks. So there's the grill marks. Usually what people use is this pan here, like a sauteed uh, sandwich with cheese. But I'm gonna make uh, different types of sandwiches with cheese. Grilled cheese sandwiches, sauteed sandwiches, just different kinds to show you that what you've been doing wrong your whole life. So, and you've been, it's okay, it's okay. Knowledge is power. So today you'll have knowledge and maybe you'll, you'll do better. So come on over here. After I cut this cheese. No, no, no I'll cut cheese. I'll... Freaking more difficult than you think to do something like this in the house. Okay. You know what? I'm not even cutting that out. I'm keeping that all in there. That's what I said. <laughs> because I didn't really mean to uh, to go over there. I'm going to have to keep setting this camera up because I have another camera over here waiting for Luna to, to lay a freaking egg. She laid an egg once, the first egg. I'm trying to get her second egg. So I'm going to show you here. For all you nosy people that want to see every single thing every single thing that's going on and that's okay to be nosy i've already had some here already cut this is just a prop i don't want to use that right away but first thing you're gonna do i wouldn't do really really thick really thick slices i wouldn't do that uh go ahead and do a slice like so okay there you go and if you're worried about it melting too easily, like too thick, and you want a, a, a thicker grill mark, then do them, you know, a little bit thicker. But this is this is going to be just good enough for me. And like I said, when I do uh, grilled sandwiches with cheese, I like to use the Velveeta. For you that says, ooh, processed cheese, I don't have any nice things to say to you right now. I'm just going to chop this whole block up and be done with it. <gasps> uh, you thought I cut my finger, didn't you? Okay. Okay. There you go. Simple as that. 
Let's go over the stove now. Walk over here. Okay. And we'll get a good, get you over here. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll close one of these doors. Can you see better? No, that, this one right here. Okay, this one here needs to be closed. Keep this one open. Okay. Get in here like so. Okay, yeah, there we go. That's all we need. We get all this stuff out the way. We go we're gonna need this okay like so Let's show you all the different types all the different different types of sandwiches that you you can make and I'll show you the, what you've been making wrong the whole time Hey, I'm back at if I'm a GoPro. I'm out on it right here. Hopefully that's not in the way too much. I'm trying to get all kind of um, angles here. That's what I said. Um, but typically what I'm going to do is uh, show you the first step of what people do. And actually, I don't even think they use this pan. So I'm going to go ahead, grab this pan. This is the pan people usually do, okay? I'm stereotyping. Yes, I stereotype. And uh, don't ever put your wrappers and stuff on the stove, okay? Don't do what I do. This is for just educational. educational. You know what I'm talking about. Educational purposes only. So, you want to wash your hands first. And uh, the pan is heating up. So, what I'm going to do is... Get a block butter, cut it. Okay, you want to put it where the bread's going to be. And what I do is put some more down once I flip it. Half, about half the pan. And you never use metal on metal, so you try not to mess up the pan. There you go. Just like so. Make sure I'm in frame here. Okay. Uh, let that get all nice and toasty. While that's going on, you definitely, definitely want to use two slices of cheese. One on each side until it melts a little bit. While that's getting all happy, then I get some more butter. Everything's better with butter. Get the other side of the pan. Hear that goodness? All right, now I'll we'll flip these over. Woo -wee. Oh, well, you didn't see that. You didn't see that. Freaking cheese. Real life situations, folks, okay? See. I wasn't going to say this ain't TV, but it kind of is. Okay. I don't want to mess up all these utensils, but instead of messing up my hands, I'm going to use a spatula. Okay. Get all that butter down. You can use EVOO, extra virgin olive oil, and butter if you want. So the, the, the um, burning point is a little bit uh, higher, so it takes longer to, to cook. But there you go. Yeah, it'll take longer for it to burn if you add a little bit of um, extra virgin olive oil and the butter together. Um, you got to burn a better if you like it hotter without burning. This side doesn't have enough butter, so add more butter. And this right here, guys, this is your typical grilled cheese sandwich. And I'm going to tell you right now. Eh, you're freaking wrong. And for the people that want to argue, I'm going to prove my point at the end of this video. Okay? So, 
for you saying this is a grilled cheese sandwich. Okay. Grilled cheese sandwich. That's not a grilled cheese sandwich. This is a sauteed sandwich with cheese. Okay, let me get a plate. I'll put this on the plate and we will go over at the very end what is what. So, sauteed sandwich with cheese. Now, for purposes, uh, so I didn't have to, well, because I'm going over at the end. I don't want to make too many sandwiches and waste all this. But for the video, for you guys, I'm going to do more cheese. <sighs> okay. See what I go through? What I'm going to do now is more butter. In a pan. Then I'm going to get... Two pieces of bread. I'm just going to go ahead and do this so it'll be a lot quicker. Um, trying to uh, get my videos under three hours long. You're welcome. If you fast forward, this is not the channel for you. Okay, here we go. So sauteed sandwich with cheese. Get this one nice and toasty. I have to add more butter. Yep. If you if you have to watch your calories and cholesterol, this is not the channel for you either. I'm allergic to diet foods. Okay, be right back. Okay, had to run outside, guys. Um, you can use a brick, like a panini press. You can use a brick and to, to put that down. But I found a rock. Yeah, it's dirty. It's muddy. Uh, I'm not going to put it right on there. Who's stupid enough to do that? Um, there are other ways you could do it. You could put this on it and put something heavy inside of that. But who's dumb enough to put a rock inside of a pan inside of that? Me. That's who. So what I'm going to do. There you go. And you get a really good crisp uh, grill mark on here. You'll thank me later. Get the twigs and stuff out. That's what she said. Okay. Flip it over. Oh, you know what you do? You you don't have to use that. Oh, oh, see? There you go. I'm a chef. I'm a chef. Country chef. Country chef. Bam. Look at that. You cannot... You cannot make this up. Okay. And that's pretty pretty smushed. I mean, this rock is a little bit heavy. Call me an amateur, but I didn't go weigh it out and stuff, okay? Uh, I've stopped selling hope, so I stopped weighing stuff like that. But look, this is a grilled sandwich with cheese. So right now, we got two different kinds of sandwiches. They're not even grilled cheese sandwiches. This is a sauteed sandwich with cheese. And this is a grilled sandwich with cheese. All right. Now we're going to get to the nitty gritty. Here we go. Now you ask what I'm doing. I'm grilling cheese for a grilled cheese sandwich. Okay. The grill marks on there, and yes, you need more butter. Okay, 
There we go. Where to put my spatula up. Okay, now we have grilled cheese sandwich. Okay. Grilled cheese sandwich. So if you want to really know how to make a grilled cheese sandwich, a grilled cheese a grilled cheese sandwich, folks. I'm slobbering. I'm slobbering here because I can't wait to eat all this. That's what I said. Okay. So now you got a grilled sandwich with grilled cheese. You got a grilled cheese grilled sandwich right now. Okay, right now. Grilled cheese grilled sandwich. Now, if you didn't grill, if you want to use this to saute it, then you got a grilled cheese sauteed sandwich. Or just a grilled cheese grilled cheese sandwich. You don't have to say sauteed. If you want to be fancy, say sauteed. There you go. Now, for you naysayers, I just never used that word before, but I heard it in movies. Naysayers. For you naysayers, for the people that say, no, it is a grilled cheese sandwich because it's a cheese sandwich that's grilled. It's not even because it's sauteed anyway. So you're already, you're already debunked on that. But for you guys that say, no, you know, it's a grilled cheese sandwich. Then let me do this. Let's go a step further. Let's go a step further. And I'm not even gonna, oh, you know what? I'll use, I can use this. I can use this because I don't need to do the cheese. Here we go. Are you waiting? Are you ready? Are you ready? You see this? Quesadillas. I have quesadillas on deck. Quesadillas on deck. Okay. Well, here's what you do. You got it. Butter. I'm not sure if they really do this one. Quesadillas. But I'm using butter because butter makes everything better. Oh, whoa, whoa. You didn't see that? There's pepper. Just a little bit of pepper on that. Added pepper. You didn't see it off, off camera. Okay. There we go. Now, people usually grill quesadillas. They do that. They grill quesadillas. Well, I'm going to use the rest of this cheese up. And I'm not grilling the cheese, okay? I'm not going to grill the cheese. You got some left. Okay. Let's get our handy dandy rock pan thing. Panini crust. I'm done with the butter. Put that up while this beautifully browns. Whoa, whoa, it's stuck. Okay. A little more. Let's cut the heat up pretty high to get the marks on there. And here we go. Here we go. Still not, still not ready. Still not ready. Let's turn that up. I like to clean as I go, guys. So uh, I'm going to do that real quick while you stare at that the stove. All right. There we go. And by the time that's going to go, I'll turn it off. You get the grill marks on there. So uh, here's for the people. When you order, for people that are saying that's not a grilled cheese sandwich, sorry, I almost closed that door. Uh, that's that's a grilled cheese sandwich. That's what they said. This is a because they always want to switch the words around. And say, hey, it's a grilled cheese sandwich. It's a cheese sandwich grilled. Okay, if you're going to make that argument, please know that I used to watch Murder She Wrote, at Columbo, and all that. So this right here. Look at this goodness. Look at this cheese. This goodness. About to drip on the floor and I get yelled at. Look at that. 
Okay. Now here's all the sandwiches. Now this right here is a quesadilla. When you order a quesadilla, you say, hey, let me get a grilled quesadilla with cheese. Yeah. You don't say I want a grilled cheese quesadilla. Have you ever asked for a grilled cheese quesadilla? No. You ask for a grilled quesadilla with cheese. Like, hey, I want a quesadilla with a grilled quesadilla with cheese, shrimp, you know, whatever. You don't say, hey, I want a grilled cheese quesadilla. No, you haven't. If you if you said that, you're lying. You're lying. It's Sunday when I'm making this, so I don't lie on Sundays, especially the last Sunday of the month. Okay. Well, here it is, guys. I'm gonna one last one last deal here. This is the sauteed sandwich with cheese. This is the grilled sandwich with cheese. This is the grilled cheese sandwich with grilled cheese. This is a grilled cheese grilled sandwich. And this is a uh, grilled quesadilla with cheese because the cheese isn't, isn't grilled. So with that said, guys, you are welcome that you finally got this clarified. And if you want to argue in comments about it, I'm saying you're wrong already. So why even argue? The truth is right here. The truth. So, Okay, let me clean this up and get ready uh, for the next video. So thank you very much for watching this uh, cooking video. I, I just did a cooking video of my pickled eggs, how I um, steam them in a steamer pot that I will never use another method again because steaming, I can do three dozen at one time. Uh, so I steam these um, and I'll show you how I jar them. So watch that video. With that said, I have freaking grilled cheese, sauteed grilled cheese, grilled sandwiches to eat right now and the grilled quesadilla with cheese. See ya. Hey, thanks for watching the video again. If you haven't visited my website yet, um, the, the address is www.dougarbagedisposalstore.com. You can navigate through the top, all these links right here. Um, there is actually a question and comment form. If you have any questions or comments, uh, fill that out and it'll go straight to my email. At the very bottom, there is a free newsletter. Just sign up for right here um, and you will get a weekly newsletter. So uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting on? Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit see all so you get all the notifications and don't miss the videos. Please comment. I like to um, listen to your comments uh, and respond to you. So I do like to interact with you guys. Uh, Please share the video with your friends, family, even your boss, and have a great day. Let's meet other plans.